Now, from Wish TV, this is The Zone, presented by Franciscan Health Sports Medicine. Hi, everybody. Welcome to The Zone. Welcome to the sectional semifinals on The Zone. We start with number two, Noblesville, hosting number three, Westfield. First quarter is Charles Farrell, who knocks down the three, rocks with an early four-point lead. Later in the quarter, Aaron Fine, what a night for him, pulls up, buries the long jumper. Miller's trope by a point after one. But Noblesville rolls from that point on, folks. Justin Carey from beyond the arc there. It's a 25-point lead. Lead. A fourth quarter, Carey drives to the hoop and he, he lays it in there. It was all Millers. They get it done. Noblesville advances to the sectional final. Final score, 71 to 43. We had great preparation the last two days. The kids really bought in. Our defense is really, you know, taking us to the next level, next step. We got, we're going to need it tomorrow night. I would just say that we were very poised. Um, they try to come after us a lot, try to pressure us, and we handled it pretty well. I mean, we were up 21 at halftime, and we won the third quarter, and that put us a great spot in the fourth, and we just closed it out. All right, so Nobles are getting a nice win there. They're moving on to the sectional finals. Everybody, good evening to you, and welcome to the final night of the zone. I'm Anthony Calhoun. Hey, coming up tonight, we have highlights of 10 sectional semifinal games from across central Indiana. If you're looking for scores, be sure to scan the QR code on the screen uh, for the central Indiana zone scoreboard. Also ahead, we check in on the Pacers. They start a three game road trip in New Orleans. All right, back to the highlights tonight. Number one Fishers taking on Hamilton Southeastern in the Mudsock rivalry first quarter. Fishers, well, they're going to force the turnover here. John Anthony Hall takes it the other way, lays it in with the left hand Tigers by five. Later in the quarter, Cooper Zachary misses the three, but Justin Kirby is there for the offensive rebound, the bucket, and the foul. He's fired up about it. End of the quarter, Michael Griffith, the follow slam at home here. But HSC still down by five. Second quarter is Kirby beyond the arc. Knocks down the three. Fishers wins 54 to 44. They'll face number two Noblesville in the sectional title game coming up tomorrow night. All right, Warren Central taking on Cathedral in game one at sectional 10. This game went back and forth, folks, all game. Check out this backdoor pass here from Kashan Harlan to Javon Guess, who lays it in there. Warriors up by four. Cathedral turning up the pressure on defense. Derek Canada up ahead. Anthony Fields, who puts it in. We're all tied. Check out this effort on the glass from Warren Central. Not one, but two offensive rebounds leads to a bucket here by Aiden Sims. Warriors back on top. But it was just too much Cathedral tonight. Brady Kaler showing what he can do. The big fella puts it in there. Cathedral advances with a 48 to 43 victory tonight. All right, in game two at LN, Christmas Attics taking on Lawrence North. What a start to this one for the Tigers. Already up 8 0. Desmond Briscoe put back right there, puts it in. But LN hanging around tough, though, folks. Xavier Robinson with the three ball, but Attics led by seven at halftime. Third quarter we go, Addicts adds to the lead. Malik Sims to keep the eyes on the rim and get the hoop and the foul. But LN would come all the way back, folks. Kobe Bowles here makes his way in for the bucket there. LN, look at this. Lawrence North comes all the way back to win it, 57 to 50, the final tonight. All right, Greenfield Central was the place to be. Tonight, game one was Pendleton Heights versus a, a new pal. Dragons up by one when Moses Haynes lets it fly from the quarter and buries it. A new pal up by four. Back come the Arabians here. Evan um, Mozingo hits the three. It's back to a one-point game. Pendleton Heights down by four. The ball, Josiah Gustin goes to work for the block. The senior gets the hoop and the foul. The game would come down to this year. Seven seconds to go, tie game, but not anymore. Benjamin Slagley for the win. New foul survives, 60 to 58 is the final. Game two, Braylon Mullins and the Cougars take it on Muncie Central. Mullins is so smooth, folks. The mid-range jumper working for him. Well, he gets it to go. He's just warming up. 
Mullins sharing the ball as well. Up ahead here to Dallas Freeman who knocks it down in the corner. Monty Simpson trying to hang around though. LJ Strange gets the push shot to go right there. More for Mullins. Braden Robertson finds him cutting the ram and Mullins no problem. Nice reverse right there. Greenville Central to move it on to the final game coming up. 54 to 44 is the final. They get the win. Okay, so six games down, folks, but we're not done. We still got a lot more coming your way here on the zone tonight. Still to come, more action on the hardwood, including defending 4A state champion Ben Davis on the road facing Southport in sectional 11. Those highlights are coming up. We're back here on the zone tonight. Decatur Central taking on Ron Gale at Southport. Uh, watch the, this uh, Drew Kegger sub. Yeah, at the buzzer, the three that put the Royals up by six. Fourth quarter, we go more of the same. Luke Green from the wing coming up here. Nothing but net for him. Royals by nine. Ron Gale uh, starting to pull away with less than five to go. Green shooting from everywhere tonight. This one right there in the corner. It's money. Ron Gale by 12. All chip away at the lead. Uh, you got a gunny. Um, goals airborne. Nasty dunk there, but it's, it's not enough. Royals hold on to win this one. 59 57 is the final. All right, Royals play the winner of the game right here between Southport and Ben Davis. Cardinals come out swinging this one. Jack Turner drops in one from distance of for the first Southport points. Cards up one at that point. A uh, uh, giant say, uh, I see your three. Here comes ours. Mark White puts it in there. Ben Davis by two. Giants going a little run here as well. Uh, you got Ladd here. Dribble steps back. The long shot's good. Giants up by five. Still in the first quarter. Giants pushing the lead here. Tavion Williams muscles his way in. Gets it to go. And the foul. Giants take care of business tonight. They beat the Cardinals 74-53, the final. All right, Gary Catholic fans uh, showing out. They owe a Chittard. They're ready to go. The Golden Eagles up 10 at halftime. Robert Sorensen, he wastes no time. The quick three, 30 to 17 early in this game. Then it's Sorensen, he's just scorching hot. He pulls up and hits another bucket there. Uh, it was 11-0 run there for Garrett, up 21. Next play, Shatar stops the wall here with Sam Heaney. Bucket there, 19-point game for him. More later, though, from Sorensen over the defender. It's his fourth triple of the third quarter. Uh, he ends with 21 points for the Golden Eagles. Uh, Garrett gets it done. They're on the way to the championship game, section 54-36, the final. Okay, top ring for Buff, taking on Heritage Christian at Garen as well, and the Eagles looking upset for Buff, uh, tied at 32 and third. Landon Schnippel here buries the three for Heritage Christian. Brave down five is Butler bound Evan Hayward from downtown for Buff uh, within two. Now down one, Braves in transition here. The layup misses, but you know, Risa Butcher, he cleans it up. Rebuff back in front right there. It's a 23-2 run to end the game of Rebuff. Quinn Warren gets it a go as the Braves, they run away with this one tonight. 55-39 to is the final. We got a great matchup tomorrow night. Garen Catholic and Rebuff ready to battle for a sectional title.